Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the update 17 part 3. So we're gonna be talking about update 17 part 3. So we all know that update 17 part 3 just released its newest um or its trailer or sneak peek of Doe Food. So we already, we already know most of the stuff that's gonna be added on update 17 part 3. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be discussing today how to get ready for update 17 part 3 in Blocks Foods. And yeah, this is going to be a pretty interesting video, but without further ado, let's get straight on to this video. So, in order to get ready for update 13, uh, I mean update 17 part 3, I would recommend that you guys at least get a couple of that you guys get a couple of uh, fragments. I would recommend at least 20,000 fragments because if you want to awaken your dough food, it's going to be at the very minimum at least 20,000 or 18,000 just like Phoenix. So if you wanna like awaken your um your double fruit dough, you should need at least twenty thousand um fragments. So if you guys want to have like lots of fragments like I do, I have like around close to 10, 20, 000 by now at this point. Now what you could do is go to raids and then do solo raids, or you could do raids with friends, but I think you could solo because I think doing raid solo will give you more um fragments. What you're gonna do is get awaken Buddha, awaken quick, awaken magma, and be max level. You have to be max level to be able to solo some of these raids and yeah um you're gonna get flame chip and then what you're gonna do is just do the raid complete the raid and you're gonna get 1000 fragments after each completion of a raid now what you're gonna do to repeat this process is go to a public server look for drop devil fruits in the in public servers get those uh, devil fruits or trade from blocks with cousin and then redo the raid and then you're gonna get lots of fragments from that the next thing that you guys should definitely know and definitely have or be in the next update is max level or definitely close to max level. You should at least be like in C C3 or uh, third world or third C by the time that the next update comes out. The reason for this being is because I think that it's there's a high chance that the awakening of her dough will be done on the third C. There's also a high chance that the race awakenings will be done on the third C. So if you want to have like, you know, experience the ways awakenings or experience the doe awakening and it's definitely for the best that you're already at third c or close to max level because i definitely know that there will be new bosses and i think that it will be hard to do if you're very low level so yeah definitely become high level or close to high level or be in third c by the time that the next update update comes out Now guys, if you want to experience the race awakenings and stuff that will be coming in the next update, then I definitely recommend that you get your uh, current races to V3 or version 3. That means you have their abilities unlocked. That means you have, for example, if you have Mink, you will have Agility. Now the reason why I recommend that you guys should have the version 3 of your races is because the next update will most definitely require that your race is almost... Uh, is at v3 before it becomes awakened so if you want to already get to the awakened content then it's very it's best if you already have the version 3 of your the of your races now then in the next update you will go straight on to the awakenings and stuff like that so yeah now the next thing guys that you need to know or that you need to do before update 17 part 3 comes out is to get your do mastery to level 450 above I would say 400 is the requirement, but I think it's the safest bet if you take your dough awakening to 450 above. I think that's the safest bet. It could be 500, it could be 400, it could be 450. But if I was you, I would get my dough awakening to 450 because that's the safest bet. And if you don't have dough yet, then go get dough because dough awakening is like a big part of the update. So if you want to experience that update then i would definitely recommend you to get dough awakening or dough right now because once the update comes out i'm pretty sure that dough is going to be very expensive so yeah go get dough right now if you can go trade it for something and yeah go get dough and get that mastery up to like 450 something like that Now I think that's everything to be said about this update guys. There's really not much left to be said about this update or to how you could prepare for it because we have limited knowledge. But yeah, in summarization, the stuff I said is get lots of fragments, get your level to, if possible, max level. If not, then at least you're in third C and then get your race 
to V3, version 3. And then the last thing that I said is to get your dough mastery to level 450 and above. And if you don't have dough, then go get yourself some dough right now. And the last thing that I would say is that, yeah, just be uh, ready for the update because the update's gonna come out this September 9. It could still be delayed, but the chances of it being delayed is very slim. And yeah, I think um, that's everything that can be said about how you could prepare for the update. I really tried my best to make this video as informative as possible. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, click that subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel, guys, to, you know, be notified and ready for latest blocks with news and latest blocks with tips i always give blocks with tips blocks with news and blocks with gameplay and cool challenges so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah i'll be making a how to get though video how to get though awakening though awakening showcase i'll also make a video on all the race awakenings once once that comes out but yeah thank you guys for watching peace out and see you guys in the next video so to the uh, Filipino people that are in the Blocks Food Discord that we're asking for shout out, so I'm gonna shout you all out right now. So shout out to DXRX or Frost Roblox. Shout out to Riz. Shout out to Nightmares020. Shout out to Tokwa or Tofu. Shout out to Make Me Makute YT2. Shout out to Red. Shout out to Mr. Uh, D. Shout out to No Proof. Shout out to Red again. So yeah, I think that's all of you guys. So thank you guys for um, supporting me as well. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. So thank you guys for watching all throughout the end. If you watched all throughout the end, then you're such a W. So if you watch all throughout the end, then put in the comment section down below hashtag shout out for up hashtag shout out or hashtag shout out for update 17 part 3 also are you guys excited for update 17 part 3 because if you are then subscribe to this channel because i will be making tutorials how to get video showcases everything that is in update 17 part 3 we will cover it in this channel and if you guys want to see more videos similar to this one watch the other videos that are in the screen right now i think or go refer to the comment section the pinned comment down below to see the other videos that I made to possibly, um, to possibly, you know, watch those out as well. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out and see you guys in the next.